you wrote in Glittering Images that George Lucas was perhaps, or maybe definitely, the greatest artist of our time. Mm -hmm. I do not disagree with that. Mm -hmm. But now that you've written that, The Force Awakens have come, has come out, <laughs> which is not George Lucas. No, it's that's Disney, not George. It's who, not, is, who is not it, the greatest artist of our time. It has nothing to do with George Lucas. Okay. And and I, and I you, haven't seen it. I wouldn't dream of going. Mean, when it's on TV, I'll look at it. Please. <laughs> okay. I'm, oh, I don't, do, do you think I want to sit in the theater and be tortured, okay, by the contamination of my ideals? I'm not going to do that. No, I just, okay. <laughs> and you've spoken very highly of the prequels, which many people don't like at all. Yes. So that, what yes. is it that people don't uh -huh. get about the prequels? They say Jar Jar Binks yeah. and they... They scream. They oh, I, I can't tell you. Oh, uh, oh, I know. I know exactly but what they're talking about. Good about. No, the it, it was Revenge of the Sith that I really. A, after I, you know, the great volcano, volcano planet climax of Revenge of the Sith. I think it's one of the, one of the greatest sequences in all, all of modern art. The, the thing is, once I had written about it, I realized as I went out into the world how few people had actually seen the movie uh, because people had given up on on the pre, on the prequels <coughs> you know, long before. Uh, therefore, I think you know anyone who dismisses what I say about about these, you know, the sublime quality of the you know, the vision. And the execution and the, and the emotion and the passions of that, of that scene, um, really, they, they just, you know, they don't know what I'm talking about because they, they haven't exposed themselves to it.